In this video, we will see how to add or import users to the Mini Orange Admin Dashboard. In the user section, the admin can add, modify, or delete the end users and manage their roles and capabilities. First, log in to your Mini Orange Admin Dashboard. To add a user, go to the Add or Import Users card and then click on the Setup button. Here, fill in the user details without the password and then click the Create User button. If you want to add additional attributes to the user, you can either click on the link here or go to the User Profile fields. If you want to enable an activation email with password reset link for users, click on the link here. You can enable the toggle button from here for the activation mail with a password reset link. Here you have got many more options to manage or further modify the settings for the user. You can manage bulk user registration from here. Download the sample CSV format from here and edit the CSV file according to the instructions. To bulk upload users, choose the required file. Make sure it is in comma-separated.csv file format. Then click on Upload. After successful user creation, a success notification message will be displayed at the top of the dashboard. Your user is created successfully. You can further edit, view groups, change second factor authentication, change password, update device limit, delete user, disable user, and view all active sessions from the drop-down here. You can also manage the onboarding status of your users from here. From the Select Action drop-down list, you can select the action, send activation mail with password reset link for the required registered email IDs as per your need. You can also manage user roles and user capabilities from the left navigation bar. From the user roles, you can manage the roles of multiple admins, and from the user capabilities, you can give them specific permissions to perform certain actions. I hope I was able to make you understand how to add or import users in the Mini Orange Admin Panel. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section, or you can directly connect with us at idpsupport at